Hey guys, um, today I promised I was going to make some gluten-free Easter scones. So this recipe was passed down to me by my favourite head chef and he was incredible. He taught me so much about the wonderful exploration and love and journey in food and how it's so diverse and so incredible. So I wanted to share it with you guys and I figured I could easily tweak it to be an Easter magnificent recipe. So the trick is the trick is three cups of self-raising flour um, with 250 mils, hold it steady babe, hold it super steady, um, 250 mils of cream, so I'm using lactose free cream because we're all lactose free and gluten free here. So there's one, I'm going to mix that in the bowl here because you just want to slightly, ooh, you just want to slightly mix the two together. Then the other ingredient, this is about the only time you'll ever see me buying lemonade is it's 250 mils of cream and 250 mils of lemonade. Yeah, Give that a slight it. stir to just combine the lemonade and the cream. And then what we're going to do, work it into the middle. Now the trick with scones is, you do not want to mix it in too much. So scones is only just mixed together. That's why I've got a nice big bench area here. And you're gonna use your hands, so make sure they're clean. And from here, all I wanna do is just bring together the mixture just. Talking. No one's talking? That's okay, that's fine, they'll come back later. Bring it together. If you need to add more oh, one person came. milk, then you'll add more milk. Okay. But this here is the traditional way of making scones, and I've, I've never made a gluten free though, so it will be interesting, but I believe it will be wonderful. From here, what I'm going to do is add in my cup of dry fruit. We're going to add in my tablespoon of mixed spice and fold that through. Because it's a gluten free flour, I am going to have to add a little bit more, which is fine. You could make this in a bowl, but this is so much more fun. <laughs> so the cream and the Lemonade acts as the sweetener but also the raising agent along with the self raising flour. I'm going to have to grab more. The joys of gluten free flour is it's always a little bit different, but normal flour is absolutely fine. If you guys are fine for normal flour, you go for it. Stay there, Katie. I'm just going to grab a little bit more flour. Just to help bring that together. Are you sure enough? Yes. The same person sent um, a bigger message it up, and it, it said to make more. More? Yes, make more for everybody. So the cool thing is, when you grab a knife. <laughs> Are you crazy? That is definitely, definitely possible. So all I'm doing is lifting that through. Now, once that has come through, that's now the perfect consistency. Just need that little bit more flour being a gluten-free one. Fold it in. Smidge more, almost there. So it's three cups of self raising flour to two cups, so oh, 250 mils of cream, 250 mils of lemonade. And then what we do is we just pat that down to the thickness that we want. 
hold it steady. Pat it down to the thickness that we want. And then the trick is, we're just gonna make little baby ones here. And we're just gonna slice them. And then from here, pick up your dough and pop it in. And you wanna have them just almost touching. So they will rise side by side. If they're almost touching, they will rise side by side. Keep it on a bit more flour. But what I'm actually going to do, because we're making, so I'm only going to make a couple today of scones. But because we're making pancakes tomorrow, this is pretty much the same recipe for pancakes. So I'm only going to use half this mixture. You're welcome to use the whole mixture. And then I'm going to use the rest of this up in our pancake mixture tomorrow. So stay tuned for pancakes. Actually, then we're going to make Easter waffles. So all I'm going to do now mm, is waffles. just throw that into my pan here. Save that for tomorrow. There's no reason. That's not going to cause any problems. It can just stay in the um, bowl. Hold steady, honey. Hold steady. Um, we'll stay in the bowl. And then I'll just pull that out tomorrow and whip that up with some more eggs and some milk and get that one into a perfect consistency that's just going to go in the oven and rise up and i will give you guys a photo a bit later of the finished product how's that easy you're going to press finish for me look they're gluten free they didn't rise the best but the flavor is epic the edges are crunchy as anything and oh, look at that insides yum